We've all sat through lots of PowerPoints that go from slide one to slide two to slide three, and that's the common way that PowerPoint is used. But it can also be used to make interactive uh, tutorials and quizzes and games and things that your students can use. I'm going to show you how to do that right now. So I've just opened up PowerPoint here. Uh, one of the first things you want to do, what we're going to do here today is, uh, is, you, is insert hyperlinks that link slides within a PowerPoint file to one another. So you don't necessarily have to go slide one to slide two to slide three. You can go from slide one to slide eight, from slide eight to slide six, from slide six to slide nine. However, the links uh, link them all up. And I'll show you how to do that in just a second. But one of the things we need to do right off the bat uh, to to kind of override the way PowerPoint wants us to wants to work is to turn off the feature that advances a slide on a mouse click. That comes in really handy when you're going slide one to slide two to slide three, but it can really confound things if uh, you make it interactive. So I'm going to turn that off. And the way you do it is you go to animations and then you turn that off. So I'm going to go back home. Let's make a multiple choice question right off the bat. So I'm going to say, what is the capital of Wisconsin? Okay, and I'll have some answers here. I'll say A, Milwaukee, B, La Crosse, C, Madison. All right, now what I'm going to need to do is insert some slides, one for the incorrect answer, one for the correct answer, and then maybe one for question number two. So I'm going to go to slide two. I'm going to say that's the incorrect answer. And I'm going to tell the kids to try again. And it doesn't really matter what order these are in because we're going to link them. Um, maybe I'll say correct answer. Uh, go on to the next question. And then the next question I'll set up. Uh, what is the capital of Minnesota? So back at the beginning now, here's how I'm going to link all these together. So Milwaukee is an incorrect answer. I'm going to select the text and go to insert, hyperlink, and the default is it'll say existing file or web page. I don't want to go to a web page. I want to go to a place in this document. And since I've already made my slides, it's critical that you make your slides before you try to link things. Um, I want to go to the incorrect slide because Milwaukee is not the correct answer. So I'll hit OK. I'll do the same thing for lacrosse insert hyperlink that's an incorrect answer and now Madison is the correct answer I'm gonna hit hyperlink correct okay now I need to make some links on these as well so when the kids get the question wrong I want to insert the hyperlink and send them back to the question so I I'll show you that again hyperlink I sent them back to slide number one when they get it right I'm going to hit go on to the next question, hyperlink, what is the capital of Minnesota? So let's see if this works. I'm going to go slideshow from the beginning. What's the capital of Wisconsin, Milwaukee? Oh, no. Try again. Oh, it's La Crosse. Oh, no, it's not. Madison. Yeah, bingo. Next question. There we are. 